In this demonstration, we're going to be migrating files from the AWS EFS file system, the uh, Elastic file system, into Azure. And the endpoint we're going to be using in Azure is a Azure NetApp files NFS mount, which you can see here. In addition to actually automate this process for me, make it a lot easier, um, I'm going to be using a tool called CloudSync. CloudSync is a service that allows you to take any of these source components and migrate with ease. So as I said, I'm going to be using AWS EFS as my source and Azure NetApp files as my destination. Now how it works, you can see I've got my source, I've got my destination, and in the middle I have a data broker which we'll pick on the uh, next screen. The data broker is no more than a virtual machine that can be placed in a variety of different locations on-prem or in the hyperscalers themselves and it basically deals with the data movement and orchestration. So the very first question I'm asked is which is the IP of the EFS mount point that I want to go to? So in this case it's 172.320.100 which I can very quickly verify here. There we go. Um, and now I'm happy with that, I can continue. Again, here's the choice of the brokers. So I have one running in Azure already. I've got one running in AWS. In this instance, I'm going to use the broker I've got in AWS. The reason I've chosen that is because it's already configured for this demonstration with the correct uh, IAM permissions. And I can select my directory over here. So I'm going to go for the root directory. And that's the one I would like to move in this instance. As you can see here in the top right hand corner, this is a Unix box that's running in AWS and you can see the contents here. Uh, the, these are the files that exist on the NFS mount. And on the bottom right hand corner, we have a Unix box that's running in Azure itself. So you can see it also has the destination mount uh, already there. And you can see the output of LS showing that there's nothing there just yet. So to get us there, we need to specify the IP address of the destination, which in this case is 172.22.04. If you have a look, that's correct. That's uh, on my mount path here. Um, worth noting as well, all of these IP addresses are internal and secure to myself. So uh, it's great for making sure that things are not available on the internet. If you tried to get to any of those, you wouldn't be able to access them. Now for the target directories, I can choose where to actually migrate the data to. So if I do have a specific directory I want to move it into as part of my migration, I can select that. But in this instance, I'm going to be selecting uh, the, uh, the root of the migration mount itself. And there we go. So I now have a Summary of what I've selected, I'm going to be moving files from AWS EFS over here to my Azure NetApp files over here. And to get started, just quite simply click the Create Relationship button. Also worth noting that you can fully automate this via API. Um, there is an API interface available for the entire service so that you can create uh, these relationships, you can create multiple data brokers, for example, if you need to scale. So with this, we can see that it's now complete. I can view key information about how the synchronization went, the duration, the files themselves, how many were copied. I can do a manual on-demand synchronization, or I can simply set up a schedule to keep this synchronized for me automatically. So for example, every five minutes. And with that, that concludes this demonstration. So we hope this tool is useful for you, this service, and thanks for watching.